So why do entrepreneurs or contrapreneurs, what I call them, you guys watching this video, fail in business? Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not a business guru, but I tell you what I am an expert in is the subconscious mind, because I understand how the mind works. Now, whether you believe in the law of attraction or you don't believe in the law of attraction, what you think about comes to fruition because you literally activate the RAS, the reticular activating system in your brain, which turns on and figures out pathways to get there. It's like the GPS of your mind. If you have always wanted a red Mercedes, you start to see a red Mercedes everywhere. Now it was always there, but it was never part of your awareness. It was never part of your consciousness until you started to become conscious of it, until you started thinking about it. So. This is why you may be asking, why is my business not working? Now, I can come from experience in that side of it because I've started over 10 businesses and none of them worked. The business that I run now, where I help and coach people and help them reprogram their subconscious mind, this has started to work and it's actually allowed me to attract more abundance into my life. Now, you may be asking how, how and why. What it comes down to is our programs. If you ask any single person, any business course I've been on, every single business course I've been on, whether that's Tony Robbins, whether that's someone of like even Gary Vaynerchuk, someone who doesn't even believe in the stuff that I believe in, the, the spiritual side of it, the, the consciousness side of it, whoever it is, even all these courses that I've bought online and I've bought, don't get me wrong, hundreds, no not hundreds, that's a lie, I think I've bought at least 15 courses, 10, 15 courses online. I've been to multiple seminars. I buy I buy all these live streams, like Joe Dispenza's live, I, I, I buy all these things. Every single business course especially always has a module on mindset. Mindset is key for success in anything in life. Whether you want a successful relationship, if your mindset is not that of success in relationship, if you're not attracting love into your life, you're never gonna find that relationship. If you're not on a vibrational frequency of abundance, you will never receive abundance. No matter how hard you work, you will never receive it. Now, this is very interesting because I said in a recent video that when I did my, my own program, I go through my own programs. Obviously, it makes sense. Practice what you preach and everything. I went through my program. On the eighth day of my program, seventh or eighth day, I can't remember exactly what it was, I ended up attracting, and this is not, and this, you, you could say this is a coincidence, but this can't just be a coincidence, because it was after I did everything, I was so vividly clear on what I wanted, I attracted over 205, 205 leads, 109 of them were warm leads, and then I also attracted up to, it was roughly 7,000 worth of uh, deals I could have sold that day, and that's what I managed to close. So you need to ask yourself, am I on a vibrational frequency of abundance? And the only way you can see if you are or you aren't is your external world. Are you receiving abundance easily and freely? If you're not, then something needs to change. And that's logical, correct? Perfect. So what you need to understand is what are my programs? Now this is why I do things like life regressions. I go back uh, in time with people when I hypnotize them to take them back to their life to figure out what those programs are. Because I could do everything in my power, but if I, I could cut off every single branch on a tree. But if I don't get to that root, that tree's still gonna grow. So you need to ask yourself, am I getting to the root cause? Am I going back to when I was maybe five or six years old? When I was told I'm not worthy of this toy which made me believe that I'm not worthy of things. I'm not worthy of this little bit of money to go to, to, to go shopping. So I'm not worthy to receive abundance because as kids we take things literally. Your parents may have not done anything intentionally to make you not an abundant person. But if they've said something and they haven't understood how the, the, the children will literally take things literally, they will literally take things literally, then they will, they will naturally just accept that kids will naturally accept it. If you tell a kid, oh, you're, you're not, you're, you don't deserve it today because you've been a bad, a bad child, you, you've been, you've been playing up, you don't deserve it, they will take that literally. So the only way we can start changing our programs is one of two ways. First way is repetition. Now this is through, just like you learn how to do the alphabet, just how you learn how to drive a car, just how you learn to ride a bike, you practice, you practice, you practice, you practice, you practice, you practice, you practice until you got it. And you can do that. And this is why I believe 
the way that Gary Vaynerchuk does business, and don't get me wrong, he's he knows business way more than I do. He works constantly, and that is who he is. He enjoys that. Whereas there's other people that are earning just as much money, making just as much of an impact, but they're doing it from a standpoint of they're aligning themselves much more. And don't get me wrong, if you want to make lots and lots of money, you want to impact lots and lots of people, you have got to put in the hard work, and I completely agree with that. So don't get me wrong, don't say I'm saying you just visualize something and it will just manifest to your life. You still have to act. The law of attraction, whether you believe in it or not, it literally has the word action in it. So you have to act upon your desires. So ask yourself, am I in alignment? Am I receiving what I deserve to receive? And like I said, your external out, out circumstances dictate your beliefs, your core beliefs, your values, your subconscious programs. So the reason your business may not be starting right is because you don't believe truly deep down in your heart that you deserve it. You don't believe you deserve to make more money. You don't believe that you can impact more people. You don't believe this. You don't, and if you don't believe it, it's not gonna happen. If I came up to you and I was like, my program, yeah, I think it will help. How much is it? Oh, 50 grand. Oh, Zan, I'll give you enough confidence. <laughs> if, if you were gonna pay 50 grand for something, and I would want the confidence, they're gonna say, oh, 50 grand, yeah. This is what you're gonna get, but this is the result I'm gonna provide you with. Are we gonna get that 100%? I'm gonna get you there. I know I'm gonna get you there. That would be a lot more confidence. So, do you know what you're doing is your purpose? Now, I will create a video on purpose, but do you know what you're doing is your purpose? Do you love it? Is it passionate? Does it make you feel fiery in the morning? Does it wake you up? Does it take you to your highest heights? Are you doing it to impact people? Are you doing it, because there's got to be some selfish goals now. You've got to want something in life. You can't just constantly give in life, just as well you can't constantly receive. So the reason your business may be struggling is because you're not in alignment with your true core values or there's programs that are out of place. So if you think that you're, you have programs out of place, let me know because I can help figure them out. You may not know what those programs are, but I can help figure that out for you. So if you would like some more information, find me on social media. It's again, Maximilian, the same as my YouTube channel, same as my Instagram, TikTok, everything. M-A-X-I-M, 1111-O-N, or go to my website, www.maxhitthetherapy.com. I hope to hear from you soon. I hope to speak to you soon. I hope you have an amazing day. Keep spreading love, kindness, and positivity.